Welcome to the Allen's training video series. Today we'll provide an overview of the USI, the unique student identifier. We'll review the benefits, the impact on RTOs and trainers, and how we intend to implement the USI into our processes. USI, what is it? The USI stands for Unique Student Identifier, a 10-digit reference consisting of numbers and letters. Every student will be allocated a unique USI that they will carry with them throughout their lives. For the first time, students can access their training records and achievements from one source, the USI database. This will be in the form of a digital transcript which lists the units and qualifications that the student has acquired since January 2015. Who has implemented the USI? The USI initiative has been developed jointly by the Australian, state and territory governments in consultation with stakeholders. It will be supported through Commonwealth legislation, including the Student Identifiers Bill 2014 and through a National Information Communication Technology or ICT system. The USI Task Force is currently communicating information regarding the USI. To view the website, please go to the Australian Government Department of Industry website. That's industry.gov.au. What does it mean? Well, as of January 1, 2015, all nationally recognised training must be recorded against an individual's USI. Students will be able to access a secure digital transcript of their achievements from the USI database. Benefits. RPL applications will be far more streamlined for both students and RTOs. Students can simply supply their USI transcripts and that can be accessed for RPL towards a new qualification. Students will never lose their qualifications as all achievements will still be recorded in the USI database in the form of a valid transcript. This is a free service for both students and RTOs to access and use. The USI initiative will provide valuable data in regards to course enrolments and completions which will assist future VET sector policy and funding arrangements. How can students apply? Students will be able to apply for their USI through a secure government website. The online application service isn't yet available, however we will advise as soon as the service is open for applications and provide the appropriate links and guidance material. Students can select during the application process their notification preference and how they would like to receive their USI. Options include email, text or post. If you select email or text, notification of your USI will be received automatically. RTOs are able to apply for a USI on behalf of the student, however they are required to gain consent from the student first. This will be part of your responsibility as an Allens training partner. In this case, ID requirements are part of the application process. In order to complete the online application, individuals will need to enter their personal details into the application and provide the verification of their identity via one of the following Australian valid forms of ID. Driver's licence, Medicare card, Australian passport, visa with non-Australian passport, birth certificate, Australian certificate of registration by descent, citizen certificate. Impact on RTOs. Well, as of January 1st, 2015, an RTO will be unable to issue a statement of attainment or qualification without having received a verified USI from every student. This requirement is being written into both the standards for NVR training organisations and the NVR Act itself, meaning it's a legal and regulatory requirement that must be followed in every circumstance. The verification process is completed electronically by the RTO prior to issuing a statement of attainment. The verification is completed against the following markers for each student. 1. USI. 2. First name. 3. Family name. 4. Date of birth. Impact on trainers. Well, you'll need to ensure you include information regarding the USI requirement in all of your course and enrolment information. We'll provide templates and links on our website you can refer to. If a student arrives to the course without having accessed the USI, where possible you should direct the student to a computer then and there to complete their application through the USI website. This will allow the student to receive USI notification via text or email and provide to you before the end of the course. The requirement to ensure correct legal names as written on their POI documentation and date of birth are provided on enrolment forms. It will become essential to verifying the USI of each student due to the verification process. If any one of those fields are not completed accurately, the USI cannot be verified by the RTO and a certificate cannot be issued until the correct details are provided. 
There will be a field on the enrolment forms for a student to enter the USI. Trainers will then enter this USI number at the same time they enter the student into our online system so we can complete the verification process prior to issuing the statement of attainment. Our process. We'll provide this informational video on our website for all partners, clients and students to access. Provide instructions and links to the application process when they become available on our website and pre-course study. Students completing online pre-course study will be required to supply their USI when creating their account. We will continue to provide updates on the process prior to the implementation date as we are receiving further information, including when the application website becomes available. For further information or questions, visit allenstraining.com.au.